Hi, uh, my name is IPA fan, and this is what the like fifth episode or some shit of uh, Church of Chug. I'm drinking a Truly, and we are all gonna chug a seltzer today. So, Bruja. Yeah. Who's next? Bruja. Oh, me. Oh, hi. I'm the Happy Bruja. This I'm gonna be chugging uh, Hamilton's Blueberry Boysenberry Seltzer. <laughs> Rick. All right, I got that non-alcoholic polar lime <laughs> seltzer. <laughs> That's great. Me? Yeah. Hello there. This is Craft Wetness, and I'm drinking a hard seltzer from Ashland. Fruit Punch. Rich. <laughs> hey, this is Drunken Monkey. I'm drinking uh, Lining Kugel Spritzen. It's a uh, beer with a splash of seltzer, pineapple, strawberry. Gordy. Gordy drinks craft here. I'm drinking Untitled Art. What is it? Prickled Pear Guava Seltzer. It was highly recommended by Mr. Case out in Placentia. So check it out. Ice Queen. Yes, sir. Ice Queen and I have uh, Evil Twins Imperial Pastry Stout Seltzer with Hawaiian Punch. That's that is a mouthfeel. Beer lover. Beer lover here, and I'm rocking, unfortunately, Bud Light Platinum Seltzer, uh, Blood Orange, 8% alcohol, and thankfully, it's like a 12-ounce can. Couldn't find a 16, but... All good. Lucky. Drink <laughs> right, let's pour it out. Mine is fine. Uh, is, any, is anybody else dreading this chug? Yeah. 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 Well, okay. mine says fruit punch, so it sounds good. Mine too, but... It sounds oh. good. Seltzer always sounds good. Right? Then it tastes like then it's like carbonated, what the tastes like carbonated water ass. <laughs> <laughs> ass flavored water with a uh, little alcohol. <laughs> there you go. Dude, mine smells like straight out guava. Nice. Yeah. All right, Rich. Yeah, color to your center. Let's you can yeah, color. What? Oh, I'm counting down. Yeah, you're in the center. Woo! Alrighty. Glasses up. All right. Three, two, one. Cheers. 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 Holy ah. shit. Ah. Oh, burn. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. That was, that was fucking bubbly. My was just You know what? <laughs> as, as expected, yeah. We're two for two right now. We had non-alcoholic <laughs> and this. That was like like medicine, man. We gotta get back to the regular <laughs> beer. All right, so this this was actually really good. It was really tasty. Yeah, you got colors of yours. Forty, leave, leave right now. <laughs> Ice queen, how was yours? He's the only one that got a good beer. It tastes like cough syrup. I yeah. I can't. I'm like trying to get myself together so I can finish it. No, listen, you know what? I encourage you to just dump it. If you don't like it, then just dump it. I mean, like, there's no point in suffering like the rest of us. Seriously. I'm just, I'm this like, was really fucking nervous. delicious. That is hey, you good. got two of those, Gordy. I'm like scared that it's going to come up just as fast as it's going down. Did you drink the whole thing? <laughs> <though>? <laughs> Larissa, did you drink it all? No. <laughs> oh, my God. That looks really bad. It looks like mouthwash. Oh, oh. Yeah, like, I literally just got sick before I came on the call. So <laughs> I'm trying to be careful. <laughs> I actually had that one uh, yesterday. It's it, it could be really good, but like I feel like the flavor doesn't come out enough. Right? Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's decent for yeah. seltzer. Yeah. Ricky, how's so that my, seltzer? So refreshing. Mine tasted like tasted like a watered down beer. Like you you poured a beer and watered it down with seltzer water, like regular tonic water. Not it was mine. Nasty. <laughs> Freaking Gordon. <laughs> Gordon's the only one that won today. I know he's the only one that's enjoying him, his his beer. <laughs> yeah, I have another one too. So I was like, "How about yours, Cisco? How was yours?" It's truly, man. What do you expect? Oh, enough said. <sighs> sorry, sorry. I got my chaser. I couldn't do this. <laughs> and this is this is well, ice you know, cream's going after it. Is, these are kind of deadly because they don't really have an alcohol flavorful taste, and this is eight percent. This shit, ice cream. Nothing like this alcohol, shit. man. This shit. Wait a minute, strong. 
Mine was a uh, mine was five percent, which is not too bad. Had a man up. Mine, <laughs> mine too. <clears throat> uh, but you know, if, if if we're looking to go with the route of these awkward styles, you know, there they you make go. a wine and beer combination now. They have that out for some do reason. They? They're combining beer and wine in the same fucking can. Yeah. What are they no calling problem. it? Like, what's the name of it? A barley, a barley wine. You know, wine? Somebody just uh, some some friggin' brewery just followed me, and they make wine and beer in the can. It just I don't know. Uh, Sounds right. like a barley wine to me. Wine or, uh, yeah. Good put. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into the topic right after we introduce our cruising beer. Our topic today is uh, hangover cures. And Ooh. let's go ahead and go over our cruising beer. I got a Mestizo from um, Beer Thug Life and Brujeria. And the can art on this is pretty sick. Plus, I you really like Mestizo. You really like them, don't you? Yeah, yeah Brujeria. Beer Thug and Brujeria, dude. They, they, I they, got some good looking beers. I got to try them out because I still haven't had any uh, of them. Yeah. Highly yeah. recommend it. Uh, Bruja, what you got? Uh, don't judge me. I am going for a golden golden road fruit cart seltzer. <laughs> so you're sticking with the seltzer game. Uh, these I love these. These are so good. These have actual fruit juice in it too. I believe. Why didn't you just chug that? Do you want to? Someone to enjoy this one. Yeah, I was gonna say you. You want to enjoy this? You know. I got you. <laughs> they should be stuck got? drinking that shit. Um, <laughs> Brooklyn Brewery. Um, out of Brooklyn. Special effects, non-alcoholic. Giving you mad props for still going. Jay, what you got? I got uh, this from Alvarado Street, uh, Cool Runoffs. Cool Running! Awesome. Alvarado Street? My first time having them, so yeah. You, you oh, might just cherries are popping. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Richard, I've heard good things about Alvarado Street. We'll get into that. Okay. I got this that I just picked up today. It's from RAR, Pulpsicle. Nice. Gordy? I am drinking one of my last cans of Rust Brewing. This is a similar science, American style IPA out of Oregon. Ice Queen? Great notion, superstar. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's a good Ice one. one. Uh, hey, that's what I chugged last night. <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember? Here, Lovin? I figured something good after that seltzer. <laughs> what do you got, Al? Uh, I got Building Building Eight Brewing, uh, the Hazy. Uh, they're out of, I believe, uh, Massachusetts. Six point five New England, of course. IPA. Wifey picked this up for me at some packy. <laughs> so cool. Today we got a um, topic is of course. Uh, Hangover cure since a good portion of us either were or still are hang hungover. Mm -hmm. So anybody off the bat want to just share something that they always thought worked or just go with now? Typically, like my wife always knows to leave like propel water by my bedside. And I make the most best effort of chugging that bottle down. Cause without it, you are gonna be bone dry. And I it always sucks, you know, to have that. Mm -hmm. Or, or any hangover. So for me personally, like propel water, like the water that's uh, got all the, um, the electrolytes. Minerals, minerals and shit. Yeah, yeah, the electrolyte type of uh, water that works for me most of the time. So mine is, if I remember, I try to take an emergency pack right before I fall asleep, and that actually does help me out. It doesn't give me such a bad hangover the night, the day before. So mm. that's another thing you guys could do. So it sounds like both of you and kind of me too, it's it's preventing a hangover before you actually get it. Because mm -hmm. I'm a big believer of like, I have this like giant cup and I have to have at least two of those and a Tylenol before I go to sleep. And that prevents a lot of hangovers. It doesn't always keep them away, but it sure as hell helps. It's just hydrating. That's it. I mean, for me, the, the yeah. biggest thing is to get that, that moisture back in because these fucking things will suck the <laughs> it'll suck you dry man i mean like you're i you ever wake up and not have the water and like your mouth feels like there's a sock on your tongue it's not it's yeah <laughs> cotton mouth <laughs> it's horrible uh, man. I, we, I like to picture a gag man. ball in my mouth what about you Ricky? <laughs> Ricky, See, I, drink, I drink water when i wake up but diet coke makes me feel better 
Hmm. I don't know. It must be like the carbonation or something. But I think oh, that same way. Be... Actually, I go for a Coke too first thing in the morning. Oh my Coke. god! <laughs> <laughs> I only drink wrong with you. I beer. Like literally, I don't drink soda or anything. Those are the only three things I drink. But I guess if it works for you, I mean, I mean, maybe it is a carbonation, or maybe it's the sugar, whatever. But it works for you. So so far, we got then, water, like, Coke. Yeah. Throughout the day, then I try to eat stuff like soup, like pho is yeah. good after your hangover. Oh, yes. Yeah, shit. Yeah. Like a fatty breakfast burrito with sausage that's, and bacon is what I normally that's, try to go for. That's that's my cure. I have to eat bacon before to sweat it out. Purpose. Bacon helps too. What were you saying, J Hope? Uh, for me, I, I usually eat a fat ass breakfast burrito. Uh, some water, and then I, just, I sweat it out. I go on a run or play some ball or whatever. Works for me. So why is it, why does it have to be fat ass? Why not just a fat burrito? <laughs> uh, because the burrito has a fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, it's better when the ass is fat, right? Uh, apparently. Yeah, yeah, apparently. That burrito got that wop. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, really? <laughs> Rich, what about you, man? I usually will... Um, Rich has to get a hangover. We'll drink it later. <laughs> He's like, a made it water before okay, I go to bed. And then I, I definitely like like soups, like something with broth, like ramen or pho or um, something like that. Like just, you know, something like kind of with a broth. It makes me feel better in the morning. Also, like usually first thing in the morning, which I know is probably not good, is coffee. Because I know it just dehydrates you even more. But it just, the caffeine kind of gives me a, a, a pick-me-up, so. Mm-hmm. So am I the only person who doesn't like to eat the day after like a hangover? Like, is, I, I it depends eat. on how bad the hangover is. If it's like real bad, I just want to lay there and just yeah. Drink water. I, I, no like, I don't eat. like greasy. I, I don't like greasy food. After. Yeah, mm. I don't want to eat. I force myself to eat. Just but you like bacon and, and fudge and ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> not ice cream i don't know about fudge or ice cream that's just gonna make you definitely puke yeah, I, I need to eat like as soon as i wake up otherwise i start getting sick throughout the day and like once i start i don't stop mm-hmm. well, so you're saying you ate today as soon as you woke up today nope. <laughs> is anybody hung over right now a little bit I'm, i mean i'm getting over it like you know i got over it about 20 minutes ago but the cure yeah. I already had another, I had a beer before this, so I really think this is the number one cure of a hangover is just drinking. Like you got to believe so. <laughs> this I is not real, but it it keeps it from you know just being as bad as it could be. Like I I can't remember how many days when I was younger I would literally wake up with a horrible hangover and just take like two or three shots of tequila and be like. Hope this makes it better. Ooh, good. <laughs> that means you're just you're, that means you're just drunk all over again right off the bat and you don't feel nothing. Exactly. But yeah, when when I was when I was younger and I was partying or I was out like in Vegas or at the river, you wake up and you start drinking, it just t- takes it all yeah. away. And yeah. then you fucking deal with it on Monday. <clears throat> all, yeah. all three days catch up to you. <laughs> As you're driving home. <laughs> like at the river or at like in Vegas, it's like you don't ever get sober, so you don't get a chance to get hung over though. There's yeah. no such thing as sober in Vegas. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. You, yeah. alcohol. You, just, you don't even have to play the game at the table. You could just sit there and like, here, here, I'm drink. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's been several times where I've got on the plane. I'm like, I should not be on this plane at all. <laughs> Get me as close as I can to the restroom because it might. Yeah, we're fighting it. <laughs> <laughs> Same yeah, we did the, 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 point. the trash can right now. <laughs> I have never seen those um, like trailers that they have in Vegas, and they'll hook you up to an IV the day after. Have, oh, you, yeah. have any of you ever tried that? No. Do they give you food? <laughs> when I was in the Navy, some of my friends were were like corpsmen. They were nurses type type jobs they would do it all the time they would go out and then they would come back and in the morning hook themselves up to IV so they could go back out the next day they used to advertise that in the barracks mm-hmm. I hope overwhelmingly that uh that doctors do that like that yeah whenever they just hang out when they're at the because you can't be hung over mm-hmm. helping patients so they're like screw it gotta get it but aside I mean, from you like, just you just replenish your fluids right that's essentially what you're doing with your with right. IV yeah, well, yeah. Like, 
as we're discussing like the preventative part or you know trying to you know get a cure for it prior to it i had noticed like last year people were posting that they were drinking pedialyte yes pedialyte does drink, help and it prevented them from getting hungover Oh yeah, there, 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 magic there goes Cisco. He's he's getting his uh his his adult version of Pedialyte. <laughs> you drink it the next day too. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got Pedialyte uh popsicles. Yeah, and I think they make gum or some shit like that. Like for uh, they, they make they make, a, they make a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Candy or something with Pedialyte. In it. It's nasty as shit, but you know it gets rid of that hangover. Like salty, salty. Yeah. What, what, what about pickle juice? Have any of you guys had pickle juice? Oh. Yeah. No, there you I go. Play, I play football. Never done we used to, they used to have Does it work? on the sideline. That shit works. Well, pickle I don't juice? Know if this is like Pedialyte exactly, but the company that gave it to me, Revitalite, um, it oh, that's right. quite a bit, man. So I'm loving it. When I have, when I know I'm going to have like a big night out, I, I, have, I don't know if you guys see what they're called, Drink Aid. They're like these little shop things like this big. I, yeah, I have those. Yeah, so I always do those one right before uh, I go out, and then one as soon as I get. Uh, home. You know, it's those work. Like hour energy, right? It's like yeah, it's small like that. Yeah, like the five hour energy. Yeah, I've seen those before. Yeah. No, no, they're not. Called, they're called drink aid. So no, no, no. But I'm saying it's yeah, like the they're they're this small. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The shots, right, right. Yeah, but those like, those yeah. are freaking amazing. <laughs> they're, they're, that helped me out in Vegas for uh, New Year's. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Being a little bitch out there. <laughs> At what point when you guys are drinking, you're like, Hey, remember, I know you live, motherfucker. Over. What's that? What'd you say, Cisco? At what point in drinking are you guys like, shit, I'm gonna be hung over? Oh. When it's too late. That's when I know. It's too late. <laughs> yeah, it's too late. It's <laughs> in the toilet. That's when I realize it. Like last but. night, I was <laughs> talking to a hopped up syncomist. And on my fourth beer, I, you know, it's funny because my wife was like, yeah, I noticed you were slurring. And when I got off with him, I said, I'm fucked up. And again, I'm going to say it a hundred times. These beers will creep up on you with no fucking problem. You're fine one fucking second. Then the next second, you're fucking wasted. It, mm -hmm. it happens. I never had that experience with like when I was drinking Budweiser. Like you could, you could feel yourself getting fucked up with Budweiser. This, no, it's just. Hang in there, Bruja. They're just burps. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want to throw out that I'm starting to drink another beer. This one's uh, by Junkyard, Vince Vega. I think Never heard of that. Won the award for the uh, best uh, best can art. Check Definitely. So, I I've been seeing those cans, Junkyard. Are, are they pretty solid? This is the first one I've ever had. And oh, it, okay. It's pretty damn solid, man. Mm. Are, yeah, are you giving us a good description? Nose, flavor, mouthfeel? Well, how about we go back and we give a quick review if anybody wants to review any of the beers that they're, uh, they're sitting on. So with mine, Junkyard, this Vince Vega one, it's pretty pretty solid. It's a little soft, but uh, smells great, tastes solid. There's nothing that really stands out other than the juiciness that, that you taste when you're drinking. I don't what know. What kind of box is it? Do you know? Uh, let's see. I don't see any hops labeled at all. But no. it's out of Minnesota. <clears throat> Minnesota? Minnesota. <laughs> there you go, Minnesota. That's the way to say it. Minnesota. It's, <laughs> from Minnesota. It's, that's how you say it's it. like everybody has to just try and say it. It's just a fun it's word. To say. <laughs> Minnesota. You know. They do talk funny. I'm curious to hear what uh, J Hump had to say about his since that was a pretty dope name. Dope name, uh, not so good beer. It's just your basic <laughs> double IPA. All right, uh, I give it. I give it a three on on tap. You know. Are you, uh, are you, all right, wetness. Would you buy it again? No. Okay. Uh, that, that's, that's like that's, a two. Uh, yeah, three is a pretty high. Eight point one. Yeah, Gordon, you had this one before, right? Three. Yeah, Eight it was okay. It does me. It was okay. You guys I've rate out of four. five or out of ten? Out of five. five. No, I always go with ten. I always go out of five. It's easier. That's not what you want to untap. Yeah, Untaps out of five. Yeah, untapped. I don't live my life by untapped. <laughs> oh, I do. I live my life one beer at a time. One untapped beer at a time? One tapped yeah. beer? <laughs> untapped beer without the E. 
Untapped. I don't know why. I just don't have the patience sometimes for untapped. Like, I'm like, uh, okay, I gotta add it in. So I do it like a whole bunch at one time. So I'm. By the way, you did. You have. You haven't. You haven't. Uh, like my. You haven't. Um, added me on there. Really? Wow. Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, so now we're just calling each other. Out shade now. at Samantha here, <laughs> aka. <laughs> Amanda. I am the untapped defender. I will accept you, I promise. I'm okay. curious. Okay, Amanda, guys, we'll be watching. You guys <laughs> want to talk about untapped? Like, when you're starting to feel good after, like, three or four beers, you're like, oh, yeah, these are good, too, and I'll, I'll add it tomorrow morning, sure. And then there's no chance in hell you're going to add it tomorrow morning. You're just this, like... This is true. This is true. I'm there's been a couple of beers where I miss. But I'm, I'm also... Go ahead, yeah. Al. Go ahead, Al. No, no, I was gonna say I'm I'm neglectful. I don't I don't I look I post on Untapped. I post on Beer Advocate. I post on Reddit. I post on Instagram. I post on Facebook. So whoa, I kind of spread whoa, it whoa. out. I was like, this is yeah, bro. What do you post what? on Reddit? What do you post on Reddit, Al? Beer. <laughs> his nipples. His nipples with beer. No, there's no. Listen, oh, it's not safe for work. Shower beers. Funky stuff <laughs> on Reddit recently, but yeah, there's beer beer uh, reviews on Reddit. <laughs> so I post on five different, you know. Medias. People don't go on Reddit to see beer reviews, bro. So, <laughs> I do. I do. And listen, type up CT Brew, CT Craft Beer. You'll find it. It's not about dick, tits, and pussy all the time, damn it. Whoa. 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 No, I know what you're all getting. It's a, it's a family show, bro. I don't this think of church, Reddit bro. that way. I think of Reddit as for like older people. <laughs> Well, look at who, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? I'm the papa of the group, man. So you know what? It, it's sad, but we are the like older people. Know. Huh? I think we are the older people. I think no, we're the youngest one people. here. What's this we stuff? I mean, older than older than all of us. I mean, like sixty older. Damn, Al, well, you're, you're, you're just getting of thrown of at this. <laughs> I think no, I, when I think of Reddit, I think of like looking up things to like how to stream like NFL games when you don't have cable and shit, like <laughs> stuff like that. Like that's the only yeah. thing I go to Reddit for that's is like I find mean, streams I, of like yeah. UFC fights and stuff like that. Right, Same right. Here, bro. That, that's what I go on Reddit on for. Reddit. I had no idea that, that there was anything freaky on Reddit. I only discovered it recently. I actually, did you like it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, because you know, I don't know if any of you follow this chick, uh, uh, Busty Beer Babe. Uh, you know what? I'm kind of over her, honestly. She just probably fucking got overdoes it. By me. I probably blocked her I, ass. You know what? The thing is, I you know she she chats me up every so often, so I'm I'm not gonna block her. You know, I'm not gonna fucking. She talks to me sometimes, so yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's the only reason I found out that there's weird shit on Reddit. But let's get back to the beer. Told you. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about beer. Let's not let's not let's not deviate. Let's so, get the negative attention off Al. Let's talk about beer. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. So, all right, Cisco, you were talking about your beer, and then we had somebody else talk about their beer. Rich, what do you think of your beer? What's your thoughts? Um, fuck, I'm horrible at reviewing. Yes. Um, it's okay. Take your time, honey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Oh. <laughs> Well, obviously, Jay Hunt, Jay Hunt feels comfortable now, so we're good. So it doesn't list the hops. Um, it does have a have lactose in it, so you do kind of taste like a a soft kind of like creamy. Milky. It does have like a creamsicle kind of kind of taste to it, a little orange, a little pineapple, um, and then it has like a hop finish that's actually kind of soft. It's not overly hoppy. It's only six six point four percent. Do you see through it? Cloudy, what? yeah, very cloudy. Who's up next, Ricky? Don't even ask, bro. This is, it tastes like hoppy malty water. <laughs> okay, go oh, ahead. Did you do yours? What did you mine? do? Your beer? No, I haven't done mine yet. Uh, so mine's actually uh, it says tropical, so I'm getting a bunch of tropical. It's nice color, but my problem is you're calling American style IPA. I kind of want to go back to that clear, crisp color if it's an American style IPA. Yeah. Right. I actually, I actually miss them. I had one, actually, uh, Ice Queen, she hooked me up with the North Park one. That was really good. <laughs> it reminded me of why I got into IPAs in the first place. The North Park one, was that that Strata? Uh, no. Actually, it, it might have been, yeah. 
but it was a collaboration with Green Cheek, and it was it pretty good. Little, like, little rocket on it. Yeah, yeah, no, yes, yeah, kind yes. of, kind of like, yes. yeah. Well, that, that's that's like like a definitive like it, it it completely defined the West Coast style IPA, clear amber, mm -hmm. very bitter, a lot of orange peel, a lot of grapefruit in that one that I remember. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you guys are great so, for that. So it it actually reminded me of like a, a Pliny the Elder. That, that, that's how like that's what I like. I like that kind of like IPAs, and I think people should bring them back. I think we're I like hazies a lot, but. We should try to bring back the original IPA as well. It's getting yeah. lost. There's so it, many hazies out there. You know, I want yeah, the record. Back, so. Yeah. So many hazies. Don't get me wrong, you know, if I see an IPA with like fucking guava and something, I'm like, oh yeah, let's do it. But, <laughs> you know. Yeah, every, like, nice. every, hold your glass up. Does everybody have a hazy? Yeah, kind of. I think that's like what everybody it's pretty much. hazy, needs. yeah. If you can't see through it, it's a hazy. Right. 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 So, no matter what they call it. <laughs> so before we, like run out of time. Ice cream, how was yours? I like it and it's very hoppy. You know, it's great notion. It's hoppy, it's bitter, but it's smooth. They they get that they get that right, you know. Yeah, you great notion is pretty stuff. solid. They have such a great balance between the two and you never feel like it's overdoing. You're they're overbearing. So I really like it. And this one specifically is for women. So hello. <laughs> <laughs> Al, what about you? Uh, the way my seltzer was seven. I think my seltzer was seven percent, and now this one is like another six. I'm already tipsy. So sad. It's okay. You know That's what? Hard. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. After you chug and then you start reviewing these fucking beers, it like kicks in that fucking fast. Like yesterday, I did the chug, then I started drinking at ten percent, which I thought this was just stupid, and then it just fucking kicked right. in like really quick, and I was like, "Damn! Mm. All right, well, it is what it is." So. Yeah. <laughs> right, Kyle, what about you, man? As far as mine goes, like it's hoppy pineapple. Actually, it's kind of like rotted pineapple, overripe pineapple, hmm. like diesel fuel, cannabis. <laughs> okay. Diesel fuel. Yeah, diesel fuel. Like it smells like motor oil. It has like a motor oil smell. No. A little bit of mango. And as far as the flavor, nice. mango, pineapple. It's really juicy. Creamy. Who's next? Do we miss anybody? Bruja. Yeah, I'm sipping on a, a seltzer. I mean, it's, oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> like the it's fruit really cart. good. Yeah, yeah, the fruit cart. The watermelon really comes through uh, for sure. Like, I mean, there's uh, there's not much else to say about it. It's bubbly. Is, is that a blend of like all the of a bunch of different fruits, or is that one type? This one's just watermelon. Oh, okay. But I love the watermelon. Tahino. Nice. All right, everybody, I think that just about wraps our show. Um, join us next week where we won't chug fucking seltzers. Uh, <laughs> or non on Thank God. Maybe we'll chug a pumpkin. We might have to do a pumpkin beer since Cordy threw it Maybe out. you should shut your mouth. <laughs> but uh, that's a wrap. Everybody have a good one.